Short Circuit is a experimental program within Disney Animation, and we usually make features there. But this is an opportunity for anyone at the studio, genuinely anyone, to submit an idea for a 90 second short. And it could be any topic, it could be any medium, it could be AR, VR, CG, hand drawn. And it gives um, a chance for new ideas to be heard and it gives an opportunity for new people to either learn a new skill or a new director to emerge and it just gives uh, space for um, different types of ideas to come to fruition. And so what's really unique about the selection process is that uh, it is completely anonymous. You submit a 500 word synopsis along with some visuals that support your material. And um, what you do is you submit them online and then my position curates the whole selection process and I find a committee of about eight to 10 people who don't know who any of the people are who submitted and we read through them all. The committee will um, put in, we'll, we'll put in our votes together and so it's a just a voting system of what the best ideas are and whoever made those ideas gets to direct the project. My short circuit project is called uh, Fetch and uh, it's it was this story inspired by my nephew and my short is almost like a it's an introduction into a relationship that tries to let people imagine what is more what is kind of these things that are beyond the short. Our projects are going on at the same time. My short specifically was supposed to be uh, a little bit, bit more abstract and experimental and really focused on the visuals. For me running the program, watching the directors go through it and come out on the other side is that we are making room within the studio for a lot of support like you asked about. Actually, it's, it's, it's made with everyone who works on features, so you could be getting a range of artists who have different types of skill sets. But one of the beauties of it too, what they were talking about with their thought partners, is you can also volunteer to work on a short circuit and tell someone, I'm really interested in this project. So I'm invested already. So you find motivated, invested people who are uh, genuinely interested in supporting you as a new director. Every day I'd be jumping from one department to the next, so I'd have to try and change my mindset of, all right, now I'm speaking to animation, and then after that I'm speaking to lighting. And um, I think one of the best parts for all of us is the fact that we met so many different people around the studio. And um, I, I feel like I'm really embedded in the studio now. I can walk through the hallways, and um, I know pretty much everyone I passed was also a great exposure within the studio. And I think that that opens doors for us too. Leadership and creative directing is how to um, uh, enable these amazing specialists to bring all of what they have and all their creative energies onto the project and figure out how to focus on the why and the intention of like why we're even trying to make this film and then letting them kind of bring that and trying not to start worrying about the details and telling them how and what specifically. Like like Jen and I are both from asset departments. I'm a, I'm a rigger and a character effects artist and you know, Jen does, uh, does the surfacing and the look development. We don't typically get a lot of interface time to get to know our story trust, our development departments and our like these personalities that are typically the ones who are trying to identify future talent. So for a program like this to exist, it actually allows people like us to you know, get our ideas in there and kind of be evaluated all on the same, uh, on the same plane.